versus the stream here with Planet Destiny with the final part of our King's Fall raid guide. This is the fight you've been waiting for, Oryx. This fight shares similar mechanics as the last fight with the Death Singers, but adds some more to the mix to make this fight even more difficult. The panels that form the floating platforms are used once again with the intention of helping one person grab the same relic from the last fight. All of these mechanics specifically are the same. To shortly remind you, look at the map from a bird's eye view with the entrance of this area being on the bottom. The panel to the right of the entrance will be number 1, top right is number 2, top left is number 3, and bottom left is number 4. You'll be using the same pattern you used with the Death Singers to create the floating platforms to make sure your relic holder doesn't fall through. When this fight begins, Az will spawn towards Oryx's spawn, so take them out quickly and send everyone to their designated platform afterwards. This time, you can manually set someone as relic holder, so once Oryx slams down on a panel, have your relic holder and teammate jump on the panel to start it up. The person assigned to add duty will now be helping everyone on the panels. Ogres will now spawn next to each panel and when activated during this fight, so make sure the person across from each panel is helping apply DPS on the ogres as quickly as possible to make sure every ogre is killed quickly. When the ogre is killed, it will leave behind a giant black orb. These are practically bombs, so don't get near them just yet. While all this is happening, a hive ship will fly over the area and drop off Oryx's vessel. This knight must be killed quickly or everyone will die. The relic holder will run up to the knight and steal its brand. After the brand is stolen, have sword users take out the knight as quickly as possible so you can return back to where Oryx is located. Once everyone is looking at Oryx, wait for his chest to glow, then begin shooting with all of you got to stagger and stop him from wiping the entire team in one clap. I recommend snipers and scout rifles for the best DPS. Heavy machine guns are also useful if you don't have any impact snipers or scouts. Now quickly send everyone that was assigned to a panel to return back to the ogre's bomb that they left behind and count down from 3 before everyone jumps in their bomb at once to start the detonation. When your bomb starts to detonate, return back to the relic holder's bubble for protection and you can add some extra DPS to Oryx's chest while you wait for the 4 bombs to explode. All bombs will then explode doing damage to Oryx. This may sometimes glitch to where no damage is being dealt from the bombs, so make sure to return to orbit and back to the Oryx checkpoint if this ever happens. After taking damage, Oryx can do one of two things, drop mines all over the map or teleport to another dimension. If he sends out mines, just make sure you're all constantly running to avoid getting hurt from the mines because they do massive damage and can kill you. I recommend either running together or running back to a panel and just run around it until the mines stop. Try to also avoid fire from the Taken Knights on the panels. These are pretty easy to avoid though. When this is complete, everyone return to their panels and proceed to continue the same exact strategy as last time. If Oryx teleports your players, one player will be teleported one at a time to this realm to fight Oryx, similar to the final story fight. The people not transported will be in the original area taking care of ads, so make sure to stay alive and DPS Oryx as much as possible when teleported. Do keep in mind that you do not regen health while teleported and fighting Oryx, so avoid getting hurt from the taken thralls in that realm. After you kill that version of Oryx, all players will be returned to the original area to repeat the previous strategy to once again blow up the bombs on Oryx. This fight doesn't change, so you'll be fine if you continue to repeat the same strats. And the chance where someone on your fire team dies, the person on add duty will replace the person's spot until they can be revived. If you do all these things correctly and with finesse, Oryx will be defeated. Or does he? This is where your run can be robbed and you will have to redo the fight entirely. Once Oryx's health is fully depleted, He's going to return to his original spawn area in the far middle across from the area entrance. He will open his chest one more time to do a final blow, and this is where you, once again, DPS his chest enough to finally defeat Oryx. Enjoy watching his body drift off into Saturn as you all celebrate and collect your end raid loot. This was definitely hands down the best challenge Bungie has created to date. It tested every single player as an individual and a team and required everyone to work together and solve puzzles like nothing else in Destiny. I'll be looking forward to running this raid on hard once it's available and have another guide for you all once completed. So make sure you guys tweet at me at versus the stream, share your pictures on Twitter when you guys defeat Oryx, let us know what you guys think about the raid, and once again, this is versus the stream with Planet Destiny and good luck on your raid, Guardians.